Steve Bannon had uh, war criminal Eric Prince on his program to discuss why uh, Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine is a good thing and why American fascists should embrace Vladimir Putin. Let's watch. And the reason that Putin ain't woke, he is anti-woke. The Russians, people still know which bathroom to use. They know how many, how many genders are there in Russia? Two. Okay. That's all of a sudden. That's, that's, that's not, that's not, they don't have the flags. They don't have the pride flags outside on their, on their. They don't have boys swimming in girls' uh, college swim meets. How backward. It's, it's how, embarrassing. How, how savage. How medieval. While Steve Bannon is talking about this kind of stuff, this is the context. This is why I'm so mad about Ben Burgess, too. This is the context we're living in, being trans in this country. How, how medieval. This is why this whole thing's a scam. It's a total and complete scam. And here's the beauty of it. They're embracing an imperial invasion of another country because the leader wants to kill transgender people. This is what we're dealing with in the United States of America and the rising fascist insurgency in this country. Steve Bannon is not a random nobody. Steve Bannon was in an integral part in getting Trump elected in 2016. Steve Bannon is an integral part in what will probably result in the next Trump term. These people are out and about talking about how trans people need to die and that Putin will liberate us from the trannies and the genders. Are you fucking joking? Are you fucking joking? This idea that like, oh, trans people only exist in the West because the West is, is telling people to be trans. There's trans people in Russia, at least a little while, and then they're fucking locked up and murdered. Do you know what the fuck Russia does to queer people? They fucking torture and murder them and perform experiments on them. You wanna know why being trans is considered so new in society? It's because in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, Adolf Hitler's regime burned books. One of the most populist, uh, like, you know, locations for trans research and medical research in the world at a time was in Germany. When Adolf Hitler assumed power, he destroyed everything related to the research going on in Germany in regards to trans people. Erasing trans people's history. This is why people think trans people are so new. You can look back 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 years and find evidence of transgender people. But people think it's new because Nazis destroyed all, of they, all that they could in historical evidence of transgender people. And now they're doing it again. They're doing it again, and they want Putin to invade Ukraine to kill the trans and gay people. Would they agree with Putin invading the United States? Because that's what this sounds like. This sounds like these fucking crazy motherfuckers want Putin to invade the U.S. Why aren't they in jail? I know it's a little weird, but, like, this is, like, isn't that treason? Like, shouldn't they, like... Is anyone going to hold these motherfuckers accountable at all? It's not good. It's not good, folks. I don't know what else to say. But this is the context that trans people are dealing with in the United States of America and in the world. There is an active genocide campaign of trans people, just like there was in the, in the, in the 1920s and 30s and 40s. There's an active genocide campaign against trans people. It, we are not at the beginning of it. We are in the active genocide campaign. Look at what's going on in Texas. Look at what's going on in half of the states in this country. Look at what's going on with Russia. These people are trying to get people like me killed. And they're rich. They've got all their fucking money. And then you got people like Ben Burgess going on Joe Rogan, endorsing their conspiracy theories. I, I, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, but I'm sure y'all have seen that. If you haven't, I'm sure other people have covered it, but I will talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene tomorrow. Marjorie Taylor Greene 
advocating on Alex Jones's program to literally beat the shit out of trans people, physically beat the shit out of them. A sitting member of Congress is advocating to beat the fucking shit out of transgender people.